hello welcome back to my channel it's currently almost 11 p.m and i'm going to be giving you high school advice while eating some tasty dessert it's like a cute little like this is glass like this is real glass and i didn't make this like i bought these from the store i bought them from costco and they come in a pack of six and they, i've heard they're really good so we're gonna try them and eat them today well while having a little chat, you know? That's, that fucking, that slap, it's so good. It's like, it's coffee flavored. It's caramel macchiato flavored. Okay, so I am a high school senior. I will be going into my senior year and I, I go to a private school, so I go to a private school, but the tips I'm going to give you are general tips and they, I think, I believe will apply to every high school or most every high, I guess American high schools, but yeah. So the first thing that I want to talk about is organization. Um, long story short, I have struggled a lot with organization throughout high school and I've learned that it's always best to have an organizational system that works for you. So whether that be a physical planner, a digital planner, a physical calendar, or a digital calendar, or anything else, like, something that I used to do is I used to use the notes app, like the post-it notes app on my laptop. So I would literally just, like, type in all my assignments there and that worked perfectly fine for me. And now I use a planner and I physically read in my planner um, all the assignments that I have and everything, so that's very nice. But at least try to have some sort of organizational system. The next thing I want to do is kind of related, but also just avoid procrastinating and I for obvious reasons like it you just don't want to be up all night doing your work when you could have done it a lot sooner and I've been there I've had mental breakdowns at 3 a.m. because I didn't write an essay that is due the next morning at 8 a.m. trust me take it from me <laughs> you don't want to do that to yourself so just like what I do is I look ahead using my organizational system my planner or whatever you use and then I sort of, like, the moment something is assigned, you think about, okay, how much time am I going to be given to do this and how much time will I need? So just, like, know and familiar to familiarize yourself with that due date and what you need to do and how long it'll take you. So, for example, if you're in English class and then they assign you a book to read and they give you a month to read it, be like, okay, there's, let's say, 300 pages in this book. I want to finish this in, like, two weeks, let's say. So then you divide. Um, 300 pages divide by 14 figure out how much pages that is that is each day and then you read that much page that many pages pages each day and then you'll be done two weeks like before the assignment is even assignment is even due like how amazing is that like literally just think about that if you divided your assignment into tiny little chunks that don't really cause you any stress versus staying up all night the day before the assignment is due and then having all this stress and anxiety overload you about this anxiety <laughs> about this assignment. I can't speak sometimes. And the next thing I want to talk about is talking to your teachers. Like, I know that sometimes like you're sitting in class and they're talking about the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, and you're like, what the fuck does that mean? And you don't want to ask because you're afraid to look stupid. But trust me, you should ask like, what the fuck does it mean that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell? Because I know we've all heard that, but half of you don't even know what that means. So literally just raise your hand and ask because i bet you i would bet you a thousand dollars that if you have that question at least one other person in that class also has the same question or has someone else in that class has had the same question before you're not going to be stupid for asking a question you are going to look smart because you are looking for answers and because you are trying to succeed in your academics and not even just in class like if you need extra help like it's you're not going to look stupid if you decide to go in during lunch or after school or whatever time your school offers to meet with teachers like it, it will do you so much good trust me i took calculus last year my junior year and i would not have gotten through that class if i had not meet, met with my calculus teacher at least once a week so it's always a good idea to keep talking to your teachers and make sure you know what's going on in the class and you don't fall behind so the next thing that i want to talk about was getting involved with like activities and stuff so I know this isn't easy for everyone, including myself, because there are different types of people, there are different types of personalities. Some people are very outgoing and extroverted and some people aren't, like me. But trust me, it's an easy way to make friends. It's just that initial moment of awkwardness when you don't really know anyone and you're kind of just like, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> you don't want to be like that. Like, 
it's only going to be like that for the first couple of seconds. It's a very easy to way to make friends. The only reason actually that I made friends my freshman year was by joining the soccer team. So just join clubs and any sort of activities and sports that you can. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is I know that I literally just ranted to you about how important it is to like join clubs and whatever. But okay, here's some tea. <laughs> You know those things in high school called school dances that you probably also had in middle school but not as like glamorous? You don't have to go to them. Like, <laughs> school dances, they aren't very productive or like it's not- they're not even that fun. Like, unless you want to stand in a sweaty room with 500 other teenagers for four hours bopping, going like that, and listen to sh listening to shitty music, then just don't go. <laughs> okay, that's not to say that you shouldn't go to any school dances because I don't believe that either. You should definitely go to try it out because it can also be different for different schools and everything like that. But I don't think that you have to go to all of them and I don't feel like you should be pressured into going to a school dance if you don't want to. Like, it, you're not going to be missing out on anything too tragic or anything. The next thing I want to talk about. You don't need to buy school supplies every year. Like, I know those Walmart ads be telling you otherwise. They convince you that you need that new laptop case, that you need that new stack of pencils and those colorful Sharpie pens. I know. Believe me. Like, you don't fall into the consumerism trap of back-to-school supplies. If you have perfectly working pencils and pens and paper, and folders or whatever, continue to use them. You will save so much money, trust me. I, like, for pencils, for example, you can get a very good mechanical pencil and just keep buying the lead refills, which aren't even that expensive throughout your years of high school, and as long as you don't lose that one very good pencil, then you're set. You don't have to waste money on those, like, wooden crappy pencils or whatever. You do not need to buy new school supplies every year, okay? Next up, this is kind of related to what I said earlier about talking to teachers, but become friends with your teachers. They are going to be your big, one of your biggest allies in school. Like, trust me, when you are applying to college or to any like outside like extracurricular or something or like one of those special programs that require a teacher recommendation, they will be your best friend. Okay, if you if you you're one of those quiet kids who sits in the back class, never talks to your teacher, they literally don't even know you're there. Like, how are you gonna expect them to write a good? letter of recommendation about you if they literally don't even know who you are, right? So you want to become best buds with your teacher, okay? So have a daily routine is my next thing. Basically just have a set time to do your homework each day and if you have activities that prevent you from doing that, like different timed activities like each day of the week, then just work around that and be like, okay, on Wednesdays and Fridays I'll do my homework at 6 p.m. and the rest of the days I'll do it at like 3 p.m. right when I get home from school or something like that. So just have a daily routine like that and also make sure to get enough sleep. I don't want to sound like your mom or your dad or whatever because I, I, yeah, but just get enough sleep, I beg you, it, you'll feel better, okay? Get enough sleep, wake up in the morning, eat your healthy breakfast of oatmeal and eggs. If you're a vegan, don't eat eggs, but eat oatmeal with soy milk. <laughs> and you'll be ready and motivated to go to school. What am I doing with my hands? You'll be ready and motivated to go to school. Life hacks right there. So my next tip is if you do volunteer work, don't just do it because you have to. Find, because I know a lot of schools, I think most schools nowadays require a certain amount, like a certain amount of hours of volunteer work but you like don't just like find like don't just go to the food bank and like fulfill your volunteer hours if you're not passionate about the food bank right like try to find something that you actually enjoy doing and that you are passionate about if you like animals volunteer at an animal shelter if you want to be a doctor volunteer at your local hospital you know things like that if you're really passionate about homelessness which i am then volunteer with homeless shelters and like feeding the homeless or whatever like that that's a great thing to do as well. Find something that you are genuinely passionate about because you will not feel bored, you will not feel like you're wasting your time, or you're just like fulfilling another school requirement or something like that. Okay, next tip. If you can't, okay, so like I think it's important to have a designated study space versus a personal space, um, especially now that we're being in online school. So if you can like 
if you do most of your like fun things, that's gonna sound wrong, but if you do a lot of like your free time activities in like your bed or like so a certain corner of your room, then make sure that you're not like doing your homework on your bed because then your mind is gonna associate your bed with like that and it's gonna be bring stress in your life. Like you don't want those two things to intermingle. So maybe like if you don't already have a desk or something like that or maybe yeah so like just get a desk or like find a corner of your room when you can focus on school and just like not be distracted by anything else that you do during your free time and then once you're done with your homework go to your bed or your other corner and just do all your other things there you know what i mean and if that's not a possibility for you then find another area of your house where you can focus like maybe if your room is pretty small or something and you don't have room to fit in a desk or a designated workspace then do your work in your kitchen or in your living room or out on your front porch like you can just be creative with it you know okay these last two tips i think are arguably um like the two most important high school advices pieces advices <laughs> pieces of advice i'm going to give you so don't stress yourself out too much about grades and academics and school and all of that like you will if you're if you're planning to go to college like trust me you you will get into college like you will be okay do not like stay up super late trying to complete assignments or like trying to like do this and that because trust me i what i tend to do is i get super like hyper focused on school and i become a perfectionist and i want to do everything like 100 percent correctly and super good and everything but i'm not a superhuman like i there's only so much energy that i can expend into doing school work and into academics and all sort of that that sort of uh, all that sort of thing so just know what your limit is like if you can only focus for two hours a day then do your homework for two hours a day and then take a 30 minute break and go watch tiktok play video games eat a snack or go on a run or do some exercise i don't know whatever you do in your free time so just learn to take some breaks learn to relax so do your homework and then relax do your homework and then relax like get into that habit of de-stressing and then the last thing that i want to talk about is don't get stressed about your social life or about fitting in or about like all this pressure and all these standards and all these things you know like i talked about how important it is just to do clubs and like soccer and putting yourself out there and that is very important but at a certain point also if you see that you're not really making any friends in high school if you're not really fitting in that's completely okay like sometimes you just won't find your people like i can certainly say i didn't find my people in high school i found my person Aww. i found the person that i want to be with for the rest of my life Aww. but i didn't find my people if you get what i mean like i didn't find a group of friends who i really enjoyed being with or who i felt like i could just be myself with and comfortable with and that's okay i feel like i struggled so much for the first three years of high school from freshman to junior year or like half of my first half of junior year just trying to fit in and being super anxious and worrying that people were going to judge me and i find that absolutely ridiculous now and i'm at the point i that i do not care if i don't have friends in school that i don't care if people think that i'm weird that i have a weird sense of humor that i'm different that i don't fit in that it's just not meant to be you know like you're eventually gonna find your own people people always say you only live once and i don't want to have any regrets the day that i die and i know that's very morbid but i don't want to be like yeah i regret not being who i really was my entire life and now feeling like i don't have another chance you know so i think just put yourself out there you will attract people who really like you and there will definitely be people out there for you and no one is going to remember this in a few years no one is going to remember high school you'll be okay See, the thing is, everyone is too busy being anxious about themselves to give a shit about you. And that's just uh, the hard truth of life. So, take my advice as it is. No bullshit. No nothing. This was my fully honest advice about high school. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up and comment down below with what you liked. And if you didn't like it, then fuck, also give it a thumbs down and tell me why you didn't like it, I guess, because I always appreciate constructive criticism. But thank you for watching this video anyways, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day and goodbye.